When sizing a customer's pet for their pet door, you will need to measure the tallest pet that will be using the door from the floor to the tip of his or her shoulders. Once you have gathered that information, you will need to select the pet door opening size that once installed will clear the pet's shoulders by two inches and remain low enough to the ground to be a comfortable step over height for the pet. If the pet door is too small or mounted too low and not providing the two inches of necessary clearance, it can result in injury to the pet and can also cause the pet door flaps to wear and tear prematurely. This would become an extremely frustrating ordeal for both the customer and their pet. Once the pet door opening that is tall enough has been selected, you will want to open an interior door in the customer's home the same distance as the width of the selected pet door opening. You will then call the pets through. You will need to see at least one half inch of clearance on each side of the pet's body. For those customers who have both large and small breed pets, you will want to select the pet door opening that will provide the tallest pet with two inches of clearance for his or her shoulders and yet remain close enough to the ground for the smaller breed pet to comfortably step through.